swing we have seen in just about a year and a half. And how about this? I live in Phoenix. The second game is in Phoenix tonight, and I came east, too, so everybody's coming east. <laughs> now I know it's really good. <laughs> really potent. Here comes Hamilton, picked up by Ray Allen. The shot clock is down to two. Rip with an elbow in the face of Allen. That's a foul called on Rip Hamilton, picks up number two. Yeah, that's frustration on Rip. You know, Ray Allen has scored the last three possessions, and Rip, you remember I talked about the strong side, Kevin. I, I can't reiterate it enough. You got to move the ball against Boston. They're not going to let you beat you playing one on one. They're not going to let that happen. He's suffocating on that side. Aren't they? They're going to give help and they're going to force you to move the ball. Perkins with the screen knocked down. Iverson rebound by Matt Seal. Here comes AI. He's got nine. No one in this game in double figures. Rondo's got nine as well. The point guard for Boston. Prince is one of four. Just if you just watch Kevin Garnett out there, just going back and forth, he's like the yo yo center fielder, like the middle linebacker. Just he just guarding everybody. Anybody comes around that lane. Rondo looks like Cliff Iverson again as he was coming around that screen. Rondo picks up the foul. That is number three on Rajon Rondo. That, that's a good description as a middle linebacker, or maybe a roving safety. Yeah, because, because he just he just. Doug, he's, he's like on a string, as you like to call it. He's down low. He's out with help defense on the perimeter. Well, he's also talking all the time, which is important because not only do you want a guy to do that with his feet, but when he talks, now those guys who are guarding the ball knows what's behind them, and they can help. House comes in for Rondo, and House picks up a foul. Allen Iverson, every time Iverson holds the ball, every time he's doing something with it, he, he creates contact. It's always... Kind of right in the vision of the officials. Well, he's going to put the onus on the officials to call the fouls, too, here in about the last five seconds. Speaking of onus, let's put the onus right now on Ernie Johnson, who's standing by in our TNT arena down in Atlanta. E.J., thank you. 144 to play here in the first half. Iverson becomes the first in double figures tonight with 11 to a 2 from the strike. Free throw shooting about the same, and the shooting is about the same. Fast break points this quarter has been Boston. 12 fast break points. They've got easy baskets. Changed this whole game around. It's done off turnovers. Axiel digs it out. Look at the speed of Iverson. Lost it as it was defended by Ray Allen. Back in the end by House. Here comes Pierce. Ray Allen right through his hands. The turnovers with this Boston team. They had a lot last year. In fact, they're one of the top turnover teams in the NBA. The same is true this season. Well, they're number one this year, over 17 a game. Yeah. Doc Rivers talked to us about that. That's just an unforced error. There's a nice pass from Paul Pierce cross court to Ray Allen, who was fired up for a three, and I think he just took his eye off the ball at the moment, maybe trying to shoot it before he caught it. Allen comes in for Allen, Tony for Ray. Tony Allen had a very nice uh, 14 minutes when he came in earlier with nine points and didn't miss a shot in the four. He lofted. They reward guys who are playing well. That's what Michael Curry did last night in the fourth quarter. Put Stuckey out there, played well, a follow, and they finished the game. Defense by Pierce on Tayshawn Prince. Got it out to AI. Good screen by Kwame Brown. Knocked out house. Rebound by Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce tonight been very quiet. One of four. And he is averaging a ton. 21 a game. Switch on defense. Prince is on house. Next seal watches Kevin Garnett. Rebounded by Tayshawn Prince. No fouls to give either way in the final half minute of this first half. Over Pierce. It's Prince. And Garnett snares the loose ball, just his third rebound as he was shook a little bit. There's been a lot of talk, Doug, around the NBA, and Scott Skiles told the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel just a couple days ago that he finds it a much chattier Boston team. There's a lot more talking for the players. Are you getting that sense in the people that you talk to? Well, I think what happens a lot of times is, you know, teams will start talking as well in Boston. they got some talkers. I mean, Kevin Garnett has always been a talker. Yes. Uh, Paul Pierce, you know, Eddie House. Uh, they've got some chippy guys, and, and now all of a sudden, you know, Kendrick Perkins has joined in the fray with some talking, and he has six, te six technical fouls to show for it this year. So I think, I think Doc Rivers said, look, I do not want Kevin Garnett to charge. That's one of the things he's done his entire career is talk. But he said, the rest of we've got to get this under control. Uh, 25 technical fouls here early in the year, and when you're the champions, 
people are going to come at you every single night. They're going to, they're going to talk and they're going to play with a level of emotion that they haven't played with, uh, maybe against the team the night before. Oh. Oh. Celtics from the line now, 